everybody, it's Robin. Um, just checking to make sure my camera, I did turn my camera off. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. I was just, um, I'm having to redo this video. I tried to upload it on Friday to tell you guys Happy Halloween and had Zoe and the, all dressed up and on it and everything and couldn't get it to upload because my husband was eating up bandwidth with the program that he was running and then tried to upload it this morning and there's just there's something wrong with the uh, with the video altogether so I guess maybe it wasn't just the fact that I didn't have enough bandwidth but anyway I wanted to show you some things that I had gotten in the mail and um, they're Halloween cards and I love them this is from um, Jill who's loved my two pugs one hi Jill I love this card I absolutely love this card it said just it says just hand over the candy corn and no one will get hurt. I think that's so cute. I just love it. Um, and then this one is from Sue, who's SL Saber. Hi Sue. And um, it's this creepy, creepy spider. So I love it. And then she's embossed around the edges of it and had put some spiders here on the inside, and it's just. Oh, I just love it. It's it's so cute. And then I had gotten another card from, um, of course, it, obviously, it's not a Halloween card. But this is from my best friend in Oklahoma. She's not a card maker or, or a paper crafter. She's a very talented artist. But um, she had sent me, uh, I had lost my Mamma Mia movie. And... She knows that I love Mamma Mia, and so does she. And if you all haven't seen that movie, you ought to see it. But uh, anyway, I was wanting to watch it again because I was humming last week when I was working on crafts. I was humming, humming Dancing Queen. Where that came from, I don't know. But uh, anyway, she sent she sent it to me and sent this card. And it had sent me her copy. I thought that was so sweet. Um, so thank you, Susie. Love you. Okay, so I'll put those back up here. Now, I got this in the mail, and it's where I won um, Mona's giveaway that she was doing, um, who's Sonate 63 Sonatech. Hi, Mona. And um, she had sent me this tag. It says, uh, congrats, Robin. Sorry it took a few extra days to get to you. No big deal, Mona. I'm having the same issue with getting to the post office myself, but... Uh, I, I've already used one of them. I'm sorry, Mona. I was so excited. <laughs> I, I sent her a, a, a message telling her that um, I won that. Uh, oh my gosh, I was so excited. This is my first La La Land um, stamp. The very first one. And I just, I love it. This one's called uh, Bumblebee Marcy. So I can't wait. I, I was good, and believe it or not, this is the first one that I started playing with. However, now that I'm doing the video, and I can play. So I thought that was really cute. And then this stamp, which is very steampunky. Love it. And then this is the one that I used. It was the, uh, the friend stamp. And I'll show you what I did with that. Um... I made this card and used uh, Gorgeous Girls stamp. I think this is called uh, On Top of the World. I think that's what it's called. So I used that and then the, uh, of course, the friend stamp up here in the corner. And I'd added some little teeny tiny rhinestones to it and on the inside. I don't have to, I've already signed the card, but um, anyway, I just added some corners and a butterfly. And the inside stamp says, Life without friendship is like the sky without sun. So I did that card. And then using this stamp again, I made this card. Let me see if I can move some of this stuff out of the way, maybe. We can see things a little bit better. Oops. Sorry for all the wrestling around. Everybody. Oops. Don't want to do that. Okay, so <clears throat> there's that card. 
and then there's this card and it is an easel card and there's that stamp again I just popped it up and matted it um, the paper is one of those paper pads that you can get for $1.29 at Tuesday morning uh, the uh, the image is another gorgeous girl's image and this one is called hmm I don't remember what she's called I don't remember sorry I can look though if you all want to know Oh, hang on just a second. She is called uh, Ruby. Okay. She's called Ruby. Down at the bottom, I just used some trim for my stash and um, some pink bead string that I had gotten at Hobby Lobby a long time ago. Stringed bead, rather. But then it it opens up like this, and I don't know if it's going to show up to where you can see it like that, but she swings, and she's not going to swing very good like, can y'all see that, how she swings? And um, <coughs> on the bottom, I popped this, uh, this square up, because I thought that it kind of looked like, <coughs> I'm so sorry. I thought they look like, you know, brickwork and like she's on the playground playing or something, you know, swinging. Uh, the stamp is by Tim Holtz and it says, True Friendships is seen, um, not, let's see, is seen through the heart, not through the eyes. And again, I use the, uh, the trims and I'll, I'm sending this to uh, one of my really dear friends that lives up in New Jersey and she's been in the nursing home for um, a golly in the nursing home and in the hospital it'll be a year in February I think it is she's really had a rough go at it and so I'm, I made that to send to her hi Debbie if you're watching I haven't been able to talk to her because she's not been able to talk she's having to relearn to talk and stuff but Anyway, that's for her. And then I made one more. Remember when I got this stamp? Got all those stamps from um, Ashley at Scraps, Buttons, and Bows. Hi, Ashley. Um, and I said, when I saw this, that I had somebody in mind that I needed to put, put that on a card to. Well, I made this card. And this little girl is called Black Star. Why, well, I don't know, because it's, it's hearts on her dress but okay black star is her name um i used a vintage doily back here in the back hopefully you can see it vintage doily this paper line is a paper line from i just got it i just got it last week i guess it was or week before last from um authentique I don't remember the paper line, but I love it because it's so shabby looking. As well as the top paper. And then I just added some little pearls at the edges and still reusing. I'm really getting my 15 cents worth out of that roll of stuff. And then I put a little pearl right here in the center of her bow. And that's how I did the inside of the card. I haven't written my message yet because I've got to send that out today. So I did that, <coughs> and then, um, let's see, maybe I ought to stop right here, no, I'll, I'll finish showing, I'll do this, I'll do this, and then I'll do another video, okay, I had gotten this Rolodex box, <coughs> um, last year sometime, at the thrift store, I think I gave a quarter for it, and it had all of these, old Rolodex cards in it and they're quite worn as you can see you know just natural aging on them I'm not going to throw them away I'm going to use them I'm not finished with the box yet I have painted it um, this uh, I used gesso on it to get it and made it rough you know by just taking a sponge um, 
sponge brush and just dabbing it on there just to give it some roughness. And then went back over it with this. This was a sample. One of those little sample bottles of paint that, that I found at a thrift store too. But it was only 50 cents and it was in the prettiest color lavender. And I'd also picked up uh, one in a uh, real pale sage color. Shabby color. And then I had picked up uh, I don't see the other one right now. Sorry. Uh, um, that's in a uh, like a pale blue, real pale blue. So anyway, I, uh, this thing keeps getting stuck on me right there. Um, I decided that I was going to use the, uh, the Rolodex cards because, um, why not? And Linda, Linda Lapota, Lapota, Lapota. Lapocta. Oh, I butchered that name so bad, and I am so sorry. She probably don't even watch my videos, but um, if if you do, I am so sorry for butchering your last name, but you've really inspired me to do this. Um, she does Rolodex cards, and she does one every day, and she's like over 300 now. So, and they're just little mixed media things with sayings on them, and and stuff so I thought that uh, that I would do that and just kind of what you know what was going on with me I just get it out in something small rather than in a big art journal so this is what I did and I'm going to apologize right now when I went back and looked at my I was trying to look at my first video to figure out what was going on and why it wouldn't upload I realized that a lot of these are negative so I need to I need to Put some positives in here. I mean, they're they're positives, but they just was leading very negative. So I gotta change my mindset here. This one says uh, I just use scraps of ripped paper. Everything came out of my scrap drawer, and um, some little butterflies um, on it. A little stamp from. Um, graphic 45 but this one says sometimes good things fall apart so better things can fall together Marilyn Monroe said that and I did this one on the 29th of October around the edges and through the middle here and stuff I had used um, one of these stamp things on it um, and then this this is a line from an REO Speedwagon song if you all know I love REO Speedwagon um, the little bird right here was something that Teresa Carr had sent me. Hi, Teresa. She's, uh, I don't remember if she goes by Teresa Carr or Precious, or if she's back to using Precious so-and-so now, but she had sent me this quite a while ago, and I, I had it in my little, one of my little milk glass container things to, uh, to just, you know, as grab, grab things, you know, to embellish. And, uh, this one was done on the 30th of October, but I used, a, I think this is a Hampton Art stamp, bird stamp in the background. Used the same um, blanket stitch stamp, and um, the saying says, time for me to fly, I've got to set myself free. This one, I used a stencil, and I just had grabbed from blacks to browns to reds to an orange up to a yellow and I just kind of faded them in um, and then I went around them with one of my Faber-Castell markers up so far to where it would kind of look like flames in a way. Um, I'm not great at mixed media but I'm having fun doing these little cards. It's, it's a way for me to, it's an I'm finding that it's an outlet for me to just get stuff out. Um, the uh, the little branch over here, branch, the little flower stem is from the We Are Memory We Are Memory Creepers. Gosh, Robin Lisa, um, back on it. These little thingies that you. Get, that you cut off from your flowers like 
you get from Wild Orchid Crafts. And I saved them, twisted them, made it look like it was uh, leaves over here. This was a random button that was in. Um, see, I had just little knickknacks and stuff down in there, down in this little thing, and it's overflowing. So I needed to, I was trying to use it, use that up. But anyway, that was where the random button was at. And then one of my um, butterflies, my clay butterflies. Um, and this one says, out of the ashes comes life and beauty. So, the next one, um, what did I do on this one? I used sprays. I used sprays on this one, and you can't see it now, but I had punched a little punched a little thing out and it reminded me of either like a film strip or a, a train track or something and I was using it as a mask but you can't really see it back there now. Um, <clears throat> these were just some scraps that was in my scrap drawer that I needed to get used up. Um, but it says life is about moving on, accepting change and looking forward to what makes you stronger and more complete. Then this one, don't laugh at the eye. I, I can't draw. Um, but the eye in the little, this was supposed to be like a little flower. And the petals going down and the leaves and the branches going up in the background. Um, and this one was a spray as well in the background. And you may have a hard time reading this one on there, but it says, Make sure you don't start seeing yourself through the eyes of those who don't value you. Know your worth, even if they don't. Thelma Davis. These are things that I've had. You know how you can do the little post-it notes on your computer and leave it, you know, leave it there. Not literally 3D, but you know what I'm saying, the little post-it notes. I've had these sayings on there as encouragement to me for quite a while now. And I decided to take them off, off of there and put them on somewhere else. This one, <clears throat> me and Susie were talking the other day on the phone, and she had said this, and I was laughing hysterically. I said, "Oh, I need to, I need to do something with that saying." But this is more of those ripped, uh, ripped pieces that were left over from here. Um, and so I put that in the background, and this was from um, Graphic 45, the Circus, Circus Olay, or something like that paper. And so was this, and I added a little brad here. And it flips up, and it says, not my circus, not my monkeys. She said that, and I was just cracking up. But I had done that one actually on Halloween. So there's that. And then there, I'm going to show you one more thing. I made an ATC card. If I can find it here. And here it is. And it's from more of those little scraps where I had cut up. But this one says, um, it's a stamp from Stamp Abilities that I had gotten at Hobby Lobby when they were on half off. And I gave a dollar for it. So it says, some people strengthen others by being the kind of person they are. And I added some butterflies up here to the top, down here at the bottom. But anyway, that's it. That's my shares for now. That's my happy mail. Thank you, everyone. Um, Jill, Mona, uh, Sue, Susie. Um, Thanks, everybody. Hope everybody's having a great day. Wish me luck that this uploads. Talk to you later. Bye.